All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Flatland Journey. And today we're gonna learn either one or two tricks. It's up to you. And those are gonna be the 180 hop and 360 hop. So as I mentioned, depending on where you're at in your riding, you may want to learn just one of these tricks, which would be the 180, or you might be able to pull off both. I'd say most people are gonna start just learning the 180 and then doing that for a little while until they get really comfortable and then adding that final step of turning that 180 into a 360. Now, both have their own difficulties to them. The 180 hop is difficult because you have to be able to ride fakey in order to ride out of the trick. So that's a challenge in itself if you aren't comfortable riding fakie already. The 360 has the challenge of just being able to muscle the bike around um, an extra half turn in order to be able to land the trick. So um, that means you have to be able to bunny hop a little bit higher, you have to be able to commit a little bit more and just muscle the bike around a little bit more. Uh, but really, the 360 isn't it's not twice as hard as the 180. I should say that. Even though it's twice the rotations, it's not twice as hard. So once you get the 180 down, the 360 might come shortly after, depending on your skill level, depending on uh, how high you can bunny hop, and honestly, just how much strength you have to pull the bike around. So uh, let's jump in. I'll break it down step by step in how you're gonna practice this trick. So the first step is actually to learn how to ride fakie. If you're gonna learn a 180, you have to be able to at least ride fakie a little bit to ride out. So there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, if you have a front brake, you can go forward, pull the brake, do an endo, land, and that'll give you some momentum to start riding fakie, okay? So you can do it that way. If you don't have a front brake, you can ride up to a curb, do a little endo on the curb, doop, and start riding fakie. Um, alternatively, you can do a foot jam to jam your front wheel, go up, come down, start riding fakie. Okay, any of those will work. And what you're trying to do as you're riding fakie is you're trying to ride fakie and spin the bike back around and then go riding forward again. Okay, so you don't even need to be able to ride fakie that long. It's just enough to get the bike around. And this is something that um, you want to practice this step for a while uh, until you get really, really comfortable doing it. So um, even though it doesn't feel all that cool, it doesn't like, it's not like this huge trick in itself. It is a really, really good skill to have and you do need to put in the practice on it. So just practice doing that endo and then riding backwards. If you are left foot forward and spin clockwise, you want to practice spinning out of the spin. Uh, you want to, I'm sorry, you want to practice riding fakie and riding clockwise as well until you get to about right there and then you turn the bars and go forward, okay? One little tip here is you want to have your free coaster on, but still your left foot forward, assuming your left foot forward. And as you're riding, when you get to about right here, you can disengage the free coaster. So push down and actually do a little bit of a wheelie. Just get that wheel up a little bit and turn and ride out just like that. Step two is the 180 endo. Do this if you have a front brake. Start by carving in the direction that you want to turn, then pull your front brake and pivot around while you balance on your front wheel. Look at how much I start carving before I even pick up that back wheel. Then do the ride out as we learned in step one. Step three is the actual 180 hop. Once again, start by carving in the right direction and then pick up your bike, do a little bunny hop and turn your head over your shoulder 
do that 180 and ride out backwards. Look at how much I carve once again before I even start the hop. You're really not even doing a full 180. Step three is to do the 360. The 180 is really similar to the 360. You just need a little bit more juice to it. So really look over your right shoulder and carve a whole bunch before you start to hop. Spin as much as you can in the air. And when you land, here's a little tip, land on your back wheel and you can actually finish off the spin on your back wheel if you didn't complete the full 360 while you're in the air. As always guys, I really hope that was helpful to you and I'll see you guys on another episode of Flatland Journey.